I... I'm so disappointed in Nintendo right now. Um, just the nerve to drop the news that they are scrapping Metroid Prime 4 on the very day that I just so happened to not be able to make a video about it. Really, Nintendo? Terrible timing. <laughs> Now, for those that watched the video yesterday, really fun video, Kim and I read through some terrible GameStop and Amazon reviews. Well, there was a sponsor in that video. Once you put it up, you can't then put another video up for another 24 hours. You gotta give that video breathing room, which is completely understandable, but do you know how much it sucked? to wake up in the morning and see that news and just want to talk about it and express my feelings and vent with you guys and kind of get us all on the same page because I thought there was going to be a load of backlash and I was prepared to be a voice of reason but surprisingly and awesomely and, and rightfully so when you look at the announcement itself it's mostly likes everyone's really in support of this and that's great I, I, I don't even have to convince anyone that this is a great thing I can just get to talk about it, I guess. Ugh. So if you've been living in a cave on Mars with your eyes shut and your fingers in your ears, you probably haven't heard over the last day or so that Metroid Prime 4, the game that was announced like two E3s ago to be in development, that we've been waiting this entire time just for something else, some gameplay, a snippet, some more information of anything other than that first trailer we got like two years ago, well, it's all been scrapped. Whatever they did, we will never see it. Whatever they were working on, it'll never see the light of day. We will never know what this Metroid Prime 4 was going to be. It's gone. It, they just pressed that big old delete button and the game is gone. Two years after it was announced, there is now nothing to show for it. That is insanity. Ultimately, it's an amazing thing Nintendo have done. And in my opinion, it just goes to show exactly who Nintendo is and what they stand for. I mean, this is the reason why I'm a self-proclaimed Nintendo fanboy. I mean, it's the reason why I back Nintendo so hard and I love their games so much is because they are quality. Nintendo strives for quality. They want to put out the best games they can put out and they've been doing it. Mario Odyssey was amazing. Breath of the Wild, they worked on it until it was perfect and then they released it. That's what Nintendo does. And in a day and age where you see so many companies just get to that point where they can't work on a game anymore. They're at that deadline and they just got to shovel it out and they do because they need to make money and they don't want to take a loss. Just deleting a game that teams of people have been working on for years costs money. Look at games like Fallout 76. It wasn't ready. It so clearly wasn't ready, even in beta two weeks before it actually released. But what you gonna do? Just get it out on those shelves. We see it time and time again. Games not being finished, just getting thrown out on the shelves. Maybe they're just dead on arrival, or maybe they fix them later. They never end up being the game that they were supposed to be. But Nintendo didn't care about any of that. They didn't care about losing money. They didn't care about sinking more time into it. They care about putting out a quality game. And that's why their video announcing something that devastated so many people and ruined so many days still got so many likes and so much appreciation. Making that statement, coming out and saying it's not where we want it to be, it's not the Metroid game we feel like you deserve, so we're scrapping it and we're going back to its roots and giving it to Retro Studios, the company that developed the first three games and we're letting them do it, like, that's crazy. Like Nintendo had complete control over this and they've gone, no, you do it. Like that's, it, it's, it's, ins it's, ins it's not, it's not a line of thinking you see from companies in 2019, 2018. You just don't see that anymore. Companies like Bethesda, companies like EA is probably a better one. We would have got whatever Metroid game that was and we would have been told to be happy with it. And then we would have had loot crates in there as well. If you don't like it, don't buy it is what they would have said. Who said that recently? Wasn't that Battlefield? If you don't like it, don't buy it. They put the game out and no one bought it and they didn't like it. Nintendo doesn't say we don't like it, don't buy it. They say we don't like it, so we're not selling it. How amazing is that? 
Oh man, I love Nintendo. So I'm gathering by this entire scenario, and it's probably obvious to a lot of you that Nintendo was developing this Metroid game and it wasn't meeting their standards. And by that, they probably mean it was shaping up something like Metroid Other M. Retro Studio is a company that made one through three, did an amazing job with all three of those games. They're so loved. Like those are the Metroid games that when anyone thinks of a good Metroid game, they go to those games. And they were all made by the same company. After that, anything Metroid has been made by either Nintendo or a corporation between Nintendo and another company like Metroid Other M, which was made by Team Ninja and Nintendo. It wasn't really the Metroid game a lot of us wanted. It was nowhere near Metroid Prime. It's kind of not ever talked about. It's kind of forgotten often. It's just not a very memorable game. It wasn't Metroid. It wasn't Metroid Prime anyway. And that was made by two really great companies. Nintendo, who sure as heck knows how to make a good video game, and Team Ninja, who have made great games in the past, like the Ninja Gaiden series. Two very capable companies who couldn't deliver on a Metroid game. Obviously Nintendo moving into this new system and wanting to develop Metroid Prime 4, they wanted complete control over it. They probably felt like one, they wanted quality control. They wanted to make sure it was an actual good Metroid game that lived up to the name of Prime. And two, they probably wanted all the money. I mean, they have the rights and the licenses to develop this game on their own in house. If they felt like they could do it, they may as well have done it themselves. But just like Metroid Other M, I guess it really wasn't shaping up to what Nintendo considers a quality Metroid game. And they saw that and they scrapped it and they gave it to Retro... This is... Oh man, that in itself is amazing. But just think, just think about this for a second. Metroid Prime 4 is being developed by the same company now that made the first three. Like we couldn't have asked for a more perfect fourth game. Like this is, li it's, it's literally full circle now. It has now become the actual Metroid Prime quad trilogy made by the same people. It doesn't seem like anyone really had an issue with this other than just being disappointed they have to wait longer. I mean, I'm devastated I have to wait longer. I was really hoping it was this year or next year where I was finally gonna play another great Metroid Prime game. Now I have no idea how long it's gonna be. It could be years. That I mean, that was a big game that moved Nintendo Switch units back when the Switch was announced. Like E3 showing Metroid Prime 4 sold Switch units and the people that bought the console two years ago thinking they were going to have a Metroid Prime game to play pretty soon. They're going to be looking at closer to the end of the Switch's lifespan. They'll probably finally be able to get to play this thing. As I was saying, it seems like no one's actually upset with Nintendo about this. And I wanted to, in part, make this video just for anyone that might be left over. Maybe you haven't seen other people's reactions to it. I wanted to make sure that I got this message out to those people and as many people as possible. In a weird but not so weird way, this is actually a really good thing. I know it sucks we have to wait longer, but it's a good thing because it's gonna get done right. I'm almost not even that upset. Like it's so it's so weird. Like if you had told me yesterday that I was gonna wake up today and, and be told that Metroid Prime 4 was scrapped and starting again and I had to wait uh, two years without without seeing the actual video I ended up seeing and I, just being told that information, I would have been mad. I would have been so dist I would have been like, what? Nintendo, what are you doing? Like, how did you mess this up so bad? But that one announcement was delivered so well and explained so perfectly it just made it okay and gave you even more respect for Nintendo. I'd love to know what you guys think. I feel so much better now that I vented. If you like this video or you learned a little something, make sure you hit the lip all over that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Click a tap on this video right there because I would appreciate that as well. And now let's get to waiting for another two years, I guess. Oh well, there's a bunch more Switch games to play in the meantime.